Today, we're gonna to take a 10,000 foot view of Madison, checking out a map to give you an idea of this layout. Hey, I'm Matt, local realtor here, offering inside information to Madison because I was born and raised right here. Let's take a look. We get a lot of clients moving from out of state and it's really helpful for them to get to know the lay of the land. So today we're gonna to take a peek at Madison and first we're gonna zoom in to the Capitol Square, which is right on an isthmus. A lot of times people don't know what that is and that's uh, the body of land in between two bodies of water. So we have Lake Mendota and we have Lake Monona. Um, so Madison's known for its lakes, uh, not only those two lakes, but we also have Lake Winkra and we have uh, Lake Wabisa and Lake Kaganza a little bit further south. Um, but going back to downtown, uh, the main pieces of downtown you're gonna have is gonna be State Street. Uh, State Street's going right down through here and that leads you right to uh, campus and right to the Memorial Union. Or a beautiful spot to stop and get a, a beer and watch the sunset. Um, we also have downtown, you're gonna obviously have the capital. Madison is the capital of Wisconsin. Um, and then we also have um, the uh, football stadium, which is Camp Randall, which is gonna be right here on the west end of campus. Um, from downtown, let's head east. And one thing about east and west in Madison, I'll zoom out, a lot of people, um, locals, will just divide Madison into east and west. So you got the east side and the west side. So you might be talking about the north side, but a lot of people will still consider that the east side. Um, so that's important to know. East and west side are probably the two main distinctions of Madison. Um, and when we zoom over to the east side, uh, we'll start with the near east. Um, one of the most popular parts of the east side right here is Williamson Street, which we call Willie Street. And Willie Street offers a lot of restaurants and shopping, um, coffee shops, uh, bakeries, um, and you'll have a, a great park that overlooks the lake. Um, right now, we're seeing a lot of growth right in this corridor here. This is going to be um, near east, the uh, East Washington Avenue. I'm just going to be the, the, the part that's closer to downtown. we got lots of restaurants, um, hotels. Um, a new concert venue that's right down here, as well as Bree Stevens. Uh, Bree Stevens Field where uh, the Madison Ford uh, soccer team plays, uh, as well as the Madison Radicals, and it's used for high school football and a lot of other events. It's, it's an historic uh, stadium, and uh, it's, it's a great piece to the uh, east side um, uh, portfolio there. Um, other than that, Tenney Park right here is a big draw, one of the most beautiful parks in Madison. Um, so on a lot of times in the winter, uh, people go ice skating right here along, uh, along Tenney Park. So it's a beautiful spot. Going a little bit further east, you're going to come down to East Town Mall. Um, and East Town Mall um, obviously has the shopping mall, but there's lots of restaurants and hotels right around uh, East Town Mall right here. What's great about East Town Mall, you're right off of the interstate. So you have 9094 um, that come right here. So 90 um, will take you to Chicago, 94 will take you to Milwaukee. Um, and if you go um, up 94, they'll take you to Wisconsin Dells and all the way up to Minneapolis. Um, so it's a really convenient um, stop off here. So if you're living on the east side of town, close to East Town Mall, that general area, it's really convenient if you are going east to Milwaukee or, or going down to Chicago or up to Minneapolis. Uh, we also have the airport. So the airport's on the north side, or a lot of us, again, will call it the east side. Um, what's What we love about the airport is that it's really quick to get through security. It's never more than... 15 or 20 minutes, um, or I should say it's rarely more than 15, 20 minutes to get through security. And if you have TSA pre-check, it's even quicker than that. Um, the north side is continuing to grow and develop. We have another awesome park, Warner Park, over here on the north side. Um, that also uh, houses um, the uh, baseball stadium. So we do have uh, Madison Mallards. Um, they are in a, the Northwoods League, and they have um, a, just a great atmosphere to go out and watch baseball throughout the summer. It's super family friendly. They have a ton of things for kids to do, um, some entertaining baseball, and they have what's called the Duck Blind, uh, where you can buy, a, uh, sit out, and have some beers and overlook. Um, a game of baseball. A lot of times people go out there because it's a great outdoor bar. Um, so Northside uh, continue has some uh, new developments coming. There's a great um, breakfast spot that opened up a couple years there and, and a couple uh, new restaurants that are going up over in this general area as well. Um, what a lot of people uh, refer to for the highway to get around uh, Madison is going to be the Beltline. So this Highway 12 here that goes around Madison that's the Beltline. Uh, that's the main thoroughfare. Uh, we would say there's lots of traffic during rush hour. Anybody from any major city probably thinks it's 
um, it's it's pretty fine. So um, that'll take you from uh, uh, Middleton all the way around to the west side of Madison, um, down towards Fitchburg, takes you over towards Monona, McFarland, and then it'll connect you to either 90, um, Interstate 90, um, or get you up to 94 uh, to get you out of town that way. So that's our main thoroughfare right here, the Beltline. It's, we call it the Beltline because it's like a belt um, going right across the, um, the bottom portion of town. Um, zooming back in, uh, I know I already mentioned a little bit about campus and the Memorial Union, but we'll talk a little bit more about the uh, near west side. Um, I mentioned Willie Street, Williamson Street um, on the east side. Uh, something comparable to that is Monroe Street here on the west side. So it has restaurants uh, and bars and, and, and um, coffee shops and some shopping right here along Monroe Street. Um, that's the main uh, inlet into downtown. Um, so if you live uh, near west, a lot of times you just jump on Monroe Street to take you right down to a football game at Camp Randall, um, to a basketball game at the Cole Center, or just the campus uh, or the Union. Near West also has some great parks. Um, we have uh, Vilas Park, which is uh, actually connected right to the zoo. So we have a free zoo, which is awesome. Um, it's, it's a great uh, a great place to spend an afternoon here in the summer. Um, again, it's free. Uh, kids love it. We have a lot of great animals there, um, but also just a beautiful park um, right there along, uh, right next to the, uh, the zoo. Uh, so Vilas Park there. Um, we also have uh, Edgewood College, which is another one of our colleges here in town. Um, that's right there near west, right in the Monroe Street neighborhood. Uh, as you can see, we also have uh, a Trader Joe's right here on the uh, near west side. So that's a big draw to a lot of people that live in the area to pop over to Trader Joe's for the groceries. Um, along a, a little bit further down, um, as far as some other parks, this is uh, Glenway. This is a golf course here that just got remodeled. Um, just they did a beautiful job uh, redoing this whole golf course, um, which is a public golf course. So uh, that's a great. Great option if you like to golf. Uh, Westmoreland Park here on near on the near west side too is a beautiful park. Um, uh, they have concerts in the summer, um, yeah, just great activities year round that that happen right there in, in Westmoreland Park. Um, also, we have another golf course, Nakoma uh, Golf Club, right here. It's a private golf course. It's beautiful. It has views of the Capitol. So, um, just uh, it's in the heart of the, the Nakoma neighborhood, which has. Just these beautiful trees, um, very charming homes throughout the neighborhood over here on the near west side. And another golf course, Odana Hills Golf Course, right here off Odana Drive, um, or Odana Road, sorry. And uh, a, a great uh, public golf course right there. Uh, Odana Road will take you all the way out to West Town Mall. So you follow that along a little bit further here and it'll get you out to West Town Mall. So lots of shopping. Similar to the east side, um, it's just the west, the west side's uh, shopping mall. So uh, that's there, that's on the far west side of town. Um, so zooming back out to give you uh, more orientation as to where we are. We got the Capitol right smack in downtown Madison right there on that isthmus. We got near east, uh, near west right over here. Um, we have the airport, uh, East Town Mall, West Town Mall, and then the Beltline that connects you from Middleton all the way over to uh, Cottage Grove here. So just a quick overview of uh, Madison. Again, some of the hi uh, highlights there, like I mentioned before, besides the Capitol, you have State Street, you have the Memorial Union right on campus. You also have, uh, and I failed to mention this earlier, you have Union Terrace, which is right here, which is a Frank Lloyd Wright inspired um, um, convention center that overlooks Lake Minona, uh, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, and then we also, again, have uh, Monroe Street, which is the west side's uh, stre stretch that has um, shopping, coffee shops, restaurants, um, a great option there. Um, one thing I should note, a lot of people do come to Madison not only for the hot, for the university, be, university, but also for a great hospital. So you have University Hospital, which is right over here. There's an awesome children's hospital um, associated with it there. There's a VA hospital right here. Um, and then we also have um, another set of hospitals right there. So we have some great hospitals right here in town. Another big draw to be, be part of our community. You have great health care available to you within minutes. Um, other than that, let me know if you have any specific questions about Madison. Again, born and raised here in Madison. I love showing it off. I would be happy to make sure you know Madison inside and out uh, as best as you can. All right. Take care.